everybody. I'm doing another solar power test here. I got a new microwave. It, it's a uh, low powered 600 watt unit. It takes about 900 and approximately 980 uh, watts AC. Inside I have a, a little chicken with uh, cheese that's supposed to melt, a little uh, pot pocket kind of thing. I'm gonna try to cook that. I've got a uh, Tiendel 2200-watt pure sine wave uh, uh, inverter, and I'm going to run this on uh, full power for this unit. So let's just start it up. And now it's cooking. And the battery is down to 12.5. It's late at night. I'm getting about 96 amps DC. I've been doing some testing, so I ran the battery down a bit, but it's getting about 96 amps DC. The battery's down to 12.4. When you turn it off, it goes back to well over 13. But uh, we're running uh, full power for this 600 watt microwave. And there's my SOK battery. It's only running off of one battery. I have a second one sitting here, which is not plugged into the system. Those wires go to a, a charge control in the daytime. I just flip them out, swap them out, and then I will use uh, the same controller for the uh, for both batteries. I just alternate the charging. At any rate, this thing is cooking. 96 amps DC and uh, I, I was only supposed to cook it about a minute or so, and I'm sure I'm over the minute. I didn't set it properly. So let's go turn it off. And let's open her up. And let's see what's going on in here. You gotta be careful, these things get pretty hot. But you can see that the uh, cheese is melted. Yeah. The cheese is melted and it's ready to go. It's really hot. Oh yeah, it's really hot. So uh, I guess this was a successful test for the uh, little solar system off the battery and the uh, 2200 watt inverter. And uh, that was my first uh, real test for running a microwave off of an SOK 100 amp hour lithium battery and my 2200 uh, uh, watt inverter. So, successful test.